I'm fucking watching it and I'm like, damn, I like this song because I hadn't heard it before. Yeah, I was sitting there and I was watching it too and I was like, I'm into this shit. Titties, titties everywhere. Yeah. Oh, I know. They're fucking everywhere. So, I'm watching it, and I'm like, who is this dumb motherfucker that, that didn't pay money. Rihanna? Yeah, who, that owes her some money. Because just looking at her, you know, mm. if you want her money, you dead. She gonna fuck some shit and, In case anybody's wondering, and, we're discussing quickly an impromptu video of Bitch Better Have My Money by Rihanna. Yeah, which after I tell this story, we're totally gonna talk about because it's fucking amazing. Yeah. Um, and I'm gonna link it in the description. Fuck it. If you don't so, like Rihanna, anyway. that's fine. If you don't like Rihanna, but you need to watch this fucking video, it's glorious. Okay. Yeah, because the video is fucking on point. Anyway, so I'm watching it, and I'm like, damn, this is good. And I'm, you know, watching the various, like, escapades that they get into. Mm -hmm. Chick getting, like, tied up in a pool on a boat. <laughs> like, what the fuck? I'm like, I'm and then, and, I'm like, and then all of a sudden, they show her pull the fucking trunk up. The stairs, mm -hmm. and outside that big, like fancy place, she walks in the Apparently door. It was a big ass apartment or some type. It was like, yeah, it was like some kind of like apartment mansion thing. It was weird. It was weird. And and like, all of a sudden, I see Mads, and I'm like, oh I my! Did, God. I saw him, and I was like, I did a double take. I like watched it, paused it, rewound it, <laughs> and then watched it again. I'm like. Holy fucking shit, that is Matt. What? And Alex, Alex, or Phoenix here, he sent it to me, and I was sitting like, I was iffy about it because it got so popular so quick, and I was like, eh, I'm not really into Rihanna anymore, but I still like some of her older music, but then I sat there and watched it because he kept saying there's a surprise guest, and you know who it is as soon as you see it. And then I started seeing all these other actors throughout, and I was like, I know who that is, I know who that is, why do I care, why do I care, why do I care? And then he's like, just wait, it's towards the end, and I'm like, okay. And I'm like, bitch, better have my money, stop. Bitch, bet I have. I'm fucking into it. I'm fucking into it. And then suddenly, <gasps> bam! Mads, right there, gloriously tied up. In a chair. Yeah. And what was funny was I'm watching it and I'm like, whoa. Mm. He looks really hot tied up. And normally I'm not one for bondage. It's kind of a I am. thing. It's, it's a thing for me. Personally, it's because I don't like not being able to move. Mm. <laughs> so. My legs aren't bound. I'm pretty cool. See, I'm the opposite. I think it could probably bind my legs, but like my arms, if I can't move my arms, it just, like freaks me yeah, out. I don't know why. Well, well, freak out. <laughs> and um, but yeah, so I'm watching. I'm like, wow, this is fucking amazing. And then I had this like stray thought, like he would be smarter than that because he would know to pay Rihanna her money. Right. <laughs> in case you're wondering, right. in case you guys are hearing the phone ringing in the background. My boyfriend just got a call for work, so I have to be quiet for a second. But yeah, if you if you guys haven't watched it yet, it's a fucking amazing video. The outfits are fantastic. Seriously, the coats she has, the coats and jackets and shit she wears, and like the fucking corsets and shit. I'm like, damn, sup. There, there is a warning at the beginning of the video for language nudity, and there is a lot of nudity. And um. Violence. Yeah, and blood. Speaking of nudity, was I the only one that was confused by the bitch wearing the bra at the beginning that didn't cover nothing? I, uh, it's supposed to be high fashion, and I mean, she did put that top on over it, but I was sitting there like, bitch, I can see was... your game. And I'm fairly yeah. sure, I'm fairly sure that Rihanna puts it on at the end. Really? Because, yeah, like, if you look at it, she's wearing the same exact type of bra, and it looks exactly the same as the one that the, the chick had, the hostage had. Yeah, because I was like, I'm watching it, I'm watching the beginning of it, and I'm like, that bra don't cover nothing. No, it don't. I mean, it, like, covers everything, but it doesn't hide nothing. Because it's, like, out of this, like, really, like, thin, lacy fabric that, like, shows everything. You can see her huge, you can see her huge-ass areolas and shit. They weren't like, that big. She had some nice tits, like, Maybe it was because they were so dark that they looked bigger. I don't know. Maybe. But I was like, I was like, whoa. I was sitting there like, damn, she got some boobs. And I recognize her too, because I've seen her I feel in like something. I've seen her in shit too, but I don't know where I've seen her. Um, let me see if the internet will help. To the internet. Also, uh, 
remind me. I got to tell you about this dream I had off off camera. I'm typing <laughs> it up right now because it'll take entirely too long to actually like say it. To, to say the whole thing, yeah. <laughs> But yeah, normally, I guess this is the first entry of our, like, current Obsessions series, because, like, yeah. it didn't, int wasn't really intended to be, but I kind of think that's kind of what it is now, because yeah, I'm fucking, I'm fucking obsessed with this song now, mm -hmm. and, yeah. Like, it's literally this whole time, like, since I first watch it, watched it, it's been on playback in my skull. Me too. On loop. Plus, I like the chicks that she had working as her, like, henchmen. Quote unquote henchmen. Oh shit, I forgot to take the wrapper off my drink. Whoa! Oh fuck, what? Okay, I didn't get that out of the music video. What? Apparently, Mads mm -hmm. is Rihanna's, like, accountant and her boyfriend in the video. And she, like, gets rid of him because. He caused her to lose like, a whole bunch of her money and shit. And then, like, the woman that he, she kidnapped uh -huh. was, like, his Side sidekick slash mistress thing. I didn't know that. I wondered, because, it, like, it popped up way too quickly when it actually showed him for the first time. It popped up as who he was, like, way too quickly. Yeah, because I guess you're supposed to get that from, like, you know how when they show him... They do the interspersed, like, visuals of her account, like, going down and shit. Yeah, yeah. And I, I remember one of the most ridiculous things out of the whole video. The only thing I really found completely ridiculous was the money gun. <laughs> yeah, that was ridiculous. That was so stupid. <laughs> but I'm sitting there like, bitch, better have my money. I can't dance. Yeah, I fucking love that song. God damn. And, and I like Rihanna. I've liked her music for quite a while. Yeah, I, I like have. Rihanna, but I don't actively generally, you know, seek her out. I, if I hear her on the radio, I'll listen. If and I have some of her older music, but, like... Well, and, and to be honest to our, our viewers here, I had mixed feelings about her for a while because of the whole Chris Brown thing. Yeah. Not because she was with him in the first place, but because she went back to him. Yeah, because she stayed with him, and then went back to him, and then all of a sudden, yeah. and I'm like, I'm sorry, I don't like you right now. You were stupid. <laughs> bitch, yeah. You saw what the f he did to you the first f in time around. Why are you gonna go back to that? Like no dick is that. Good. Yeah. Apparently. Sophie Turner, the girl who plays Sansa on Game of Thrones, mm -hmm. covered part of the song before. Oh, after it released. Okay. And I'm like, I did not know she sang, for one thing. And two, I cannot see Sansa Stark talking about bitch better have my mind. I don't, I don't think I care to see it, actually. I, I don't like Sansa. Well, it's not on YouTube. I was actually kind of wanting to see it because I wanted to see if she did it well or not. Like, mm -hmm. I I'm not gonna lie, and this is probably gonna have a lot of Game of Thrones fans like pissed off at me, but I don't like Sansa Stark. Well, the only one I really liked was Jon Snow, and then you know that shit happened with him, and then I have a theory about Jon Snow, but that's for a Game of Thrones video. <laughs> that's for another video. This is um, Rihanna. Yeah. Um, Does and I have, I have my, my camera just like fuzzed out hardcore. I have opinions about Sansa too. Auto focusing. Um, did you notice in our first video? Uh, side note: Did you notice in our first video when if you watch it on YouTube, the camera constantly wiggles in and out as it focuses? <laughs> no, I didn't. It does. It looks like you're just kind of watching us through like a water filter or some shit. That's kind of cool. Boat. Ish. No, it's annoying. I'm like sitting there like, what's going on? What's going on? Okay. Also, also, Tumblr is totally annoying me right now. Why? Wow, what's up? Because, and our viewers should know that we have mixed feelings about Tumblr. <laughs> um, I found a post, supposedly, or I found a post a couple of weeks ago about, um, it was like, different ways to make money, um, that link up to like PayPal and stuff. Mm. Like, you know, uh, polls and surveys and stuff like that. Duh. 
Yeah, but I seen. Well, but there was some other stuff too that I didn't get a chance to read, and I favorited it, or I liked it, or whatever it is on Tumblr now. Mm -hmm. um, but now I can't find it. It's like either I favorite slash like so much shit that it's just <laughs> really scary. fucking far down, which is possible because I do like a lot of shit. Um, but I'm not sure if I can find it now. I'm, like, scrolling endlessly through the things that I've liked, hoping, hoping that I will find it. Nah, no, though, for real, Mads Mikkelsen. I, my first encounter with Mads Mikkelsen in, you know, finding out who he was in movies and whatnot was King Arthur with Clive Owen and... Hugh Dancy and like Eon, oh, Ian Gravad and a whole bunch of other motherfuckers. But like, I instantly fell in love with him and his character, Tristan. And I'm like, so Tristan, get you back. That was before well, I, I went by Glitchy. <laughs> well, I gotta say, I've se I, I saw him in things before, mm -hmm. but I didn't actually know who he was. Yo, dude, something just went off on your end. Yeah, it's my dad's phone. Okay. Yeah, he had a text message. Um, anyway, yeah, I didn't, I didn't know actually who he know because I didn't do it. Didn't you know actively look for people or anything like that? I I, I fangirled later in life. <laughs> yeah, like I didn't know exactly who he was until um, Hannibal. Duh. Which, um, by the way, if you guys haven't seen our save Hannibal video, go watch it. Um, go watch it because it's actually important. It is uploaded. Yay. And it is uploaded. I'm trying to only make references to videos that we have uploaded now. Um, I'm really bad about it. <laughs> yeah. And some of the, Sorry about some it. Of, some of the videos are out of order, so you're catching some of our older stuff that's like kind of crappy still. And not as Although, as this, but... to to be fair, I've been trying to like properly put links to where people can actually watch them in chronological order. Yeah. Exactly. Um. Anyway, another person that I didn't actually know who was before. Um, Hannibal was Hugh Dancy. Ah, Hugh Dancy, cha. I had never actually seen him. I'll be AFK one think. second off screen. I'm going to kiss my boyfriend. He doesn't like being on camera. But yeah, I hadn't actually seen him in anything before Hannibal. And I really like him as an actor. He's kind of awesome. Um, I think I may go back and watch some stuff that he's done. Which I'd have to look some of that stuff up because I don't actually know. I'm back. I'm back. Welcome back. Please ignore my continuously cluttered background. It happens. I, I'm lazy as fuck, I'm not gonna lie. Once I start cleaning things up, then my kids get here and then everything just kind of explodes. Yeah. I get, to, I get to a point where I just say, fuck it, I'm done. Also. Hmm. That's for another video. Never mind. God damn it. <laughs> well, we can end I the just... video. My thing is trying to autofocus it. I got the pee. <laughs> okay. So much well then. for you folks out there. But if you're watching our videos, you've probably already heard TMI quite a few times. Well then, let's cut this this video here because oh we've this already is like our shortest video ever. Because uh... we've geeked out about you know, bitch, better have my money. Bitch, better have uh... my money, money. Mm, mm, mm. And we will have more content for you guys soon. Like and comment. Tell us what you want to see. If you want to see us talk about more music kind of stuff, let us know. You can even suggest stuff, maybe. We'll we may like it. We may not. And we'll review. Just understand that we're going to give our honest reviews and opinions and we're not going to sugarcoat anything. Also, please don't recommend Screamo stuff that gives me a headache. <laughs> There's a few, like very few Screamo things that I like, which I think that... Um, Broken Side is considered Screamo and Blood on the Dance Floor. Now, I, s I mention those bands only because those are ones that I consider Screamo. I don't know if they actually are. But I also know that I only listen to a few songs. Like, I listen to t two, maybe three Broken Side songs and four or five Blood on the Dance Floor. And that's it. I'm not people are totally, people are totally going to groan. But, like, the closest 
the hardest rock that I'll listen to is like Evanescence for the Temptation and stuff like that. Like that's about like my borderline. I'm like I can't do anything harder than that. Nah, I like Evanescence. Um, Cradle Filth is something I listen to, but I, again, I only listen to a few songs of theirs. Because if I can't understand what the fuck you're saying, I don't want to hear it unless it's Japanese or something, you know, J-pop or K-pop. Speaking of Evan, speaking of Evanescence, I want more music from them. God damn it! I haven't heard from them in ages. They did an album in 2009. They Actually, wait, no, uh... no, the most recent one released in 2011. My bad. This is how we end up having extremely long videos. Just so. Yeah, we go like on tangents. Anyway, we'll cut it here. Um, like I said, We're subscribe. Record, probably record another video or two. Subscribe. Yeah. Comment. Let us know what you want to see. Subscribe, goddammit.